Why is everybody in to see Patrick Conan today? But the group, um, Valley uh, says no, uh, campaign group have set up a meeting with uh, Governor Honan, um, supported with MEPs and um, uh, TDs from the technical group and Peter Matthews, um, basically to revisit um, the possibility uh, to get the now or what was the promissory note uh, bonds um, destroyed um, and that they won't be sold on and become sovereign debt. Can you tell me what happened um, there at the meeting today? Well, uh, we met uh, Patrick Honaghan and uh, he has agreed to uh, write the ECB and tell them uh, that we want a meeting. And uh, one of the things I tried to uh, impress upon Patrick Honaghan that was maybe, just maybe, he didn't have a mandate up until the last elections to go out there and do something really radical. But now, given that there are two independents in my constituency out of four, one Sinn Féin, Sinn Féin MEPs uh, in all the other constituencies and Nessa Childers in Dublin that now he can go out there and point back to Ireland that maybe people aren't that convinced that we got a good deal and that maybe we need to revise that and that maybe he could say to them and people like Andy Kenny could say to these people that look back at Ireland this is the direction that they're going in now I think it's great that we're going in that direction but maybe these capitalists and these bankers mightn't think that that, and threaten us upon them because that will be the future for Ireland if they don't listen to us and there will be more of us and there'll be more of us till eventually there'll be enough of us that we'll be able to stand on each other's shoulders and knock on his fancy window up there and tell him we run this country. Okay, thank you very much. Nasa, would you like to say anything about what happened? Um, yes, um, I thought it was interesting, and I can see very clearly that, uh, at a level, uh, you know, at the level of MEPs at least and national politicians, serious pressure is going to have to be put on other European countries, on the Irish government, and generally communicating um, quite the reverse of what has been communicated, which is everyone thinking we're okay. This has to be changed, and I think as MEPs, we've already been doing that within our own groups, and it has to continue. That's what we've been elected to do, those of us who believe that, and we're in the majority now in the European Parliament, the Irish members. We got, we partially got what we were looking for, which is, he is going to write a letter to the ECB, of which he is a member of the Governing Council, um, asking, you know, if they uh, sort of a meeting for us, but he's doing so, he did so, I think, um, grudgingly, and he said that himself, I'm not giving away anything by saying that. Um, he feels, I think, himself like that he's actually doing a great job himself and he would be better off being left alone to do that job without us coming in and maybe uh, interfering or stealing some of his ground, I don't know. But, um, but at least if he does that, you know, um, set up a request setting up the meeting, it's something. You know, but, um, but we know, I mean, we've known Marcus from the beginning the size of the battle that we're fighting here. But what we want to just do is to engage with those who are inflicting this on us. You know, and that's, if we can just do that, I want to sit across the table from those who are inflicting this on us, and that is the ECB, and look them in the eye and debate with them the okay. justice of what they're doing. And hopefully we'll get that opportunity. You know, I wouldn't be crossing my fingers that it will come through Patrick Conan, but we are working also through other areas to try and get that meeting. But at least, you know, him right a lot of us won't hurt. Well, the main reason I'm here is to support the Ballyhay Group. The Ballyhay Group I have been a fan of and an admirer of and a supporter of ever since they started. Um, Ireland is a very unusual country in that we have suffered extraordinary things to be done unto us and have barely squeaked in protest. I think more people came out to protest about Garth Brooks concerts than came out to protest about a 64 billion euro odious debt that means we can't run our schools and our hospitals the way they should be run. Uh, one group of people who've stood up are the people of Ballyhay, so uh, I'm here to support them. I think in an ideal world, we could get the uh, promissory notes uh, torn up. I think that is a huge ask. But there may, there, there may be a compromise whereby we don't sell them onto the markets, whereby we hold them at virtually zero interest forever and essentially let time bury them 2% at a time, um, or 2% a year. Uh, I don't know, but I, I, 
I like what they're trying to do. We have a government that seems to be sta sitting on its hands and saying, sure, nothing can be done other than we pay everybody money we don't owe them. Okay. These guys and I say that does not have to be true. That is not an orthodoxy we have to accept. So I think we should challenge it. Peter, could you tell me how the meeting went for Patrick Conan? It was a good meeting. Uh, it was a case of you know honest and frank discussion. It got a little bit charged at times, but that's a good thing. That means that minds are engaged. And he, he does understand, and I could see it in the chemistry of the way he received what our ideas and what we were saying in our analysis, but he couldn't disagree with what we were saying. He's, he's, he's got his hands tied by the neurotic rules of the ECB and its council, but he knows that in essence, what has happened to the Irish people by the imposition of these losses of 30 billion or thereabouts of promissory bonds is wrong. You could see that off. That, that in itself was worthwhile. Now, uh, Fiona, can you tell me, how did the meeting go today? I thought the, the meeting was very interesting and I thought it went very well. Um, ultimately, we had our question answered. What happens the bonds when they're sold? The money is extinguished. Uh, we made the request to take this meeting further to go to the ECB Governing Council and the request will be made. So, so a good day's work. So just so I'm aware, all this money that everybody in Ireland has to pay, that's going nowhere, it's just going to be extinguished. These Burned. mystery note bonds, as they're sold, money comes in and it's destroyed. Thank you very much. Did he tell you what's going to happen with the promissory note bonds at all? Oh, the famous question that Fine Gael refused to answer. Um, yes, he did. I mean, I, I put it to him. I said, you know, will the money be destroyed? And he used a different word. He said the money will be extinguished. Really? So basically, um, over the next 40 years, the Irish people will be paying interest on uh, sums that they will never get to use. And that's going nowhere? It's going nowhere. It's going to be absolutely extinguished, as he says himself. It's like you going into your bank in the morning and ask me for a loan and you say it's going to be 500 million euro this year. So let's say you went into your bank in the morning, you got a loan of 50,000 euro, the bank manager says, okay, there's your loan, it's on the screen in front of you, bang, button, the loan is now gone, but you can stop paying the interest to me this year and in 20 years time you can pay me the 50,000 euro. And by Patrick Conan's standards, that's okay, it's fine to do that. Do you turn around? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, no, you have to Can you turn around there for one more picture, Luke? Okay. Any good feature? This is... No, no, Luke. Come on, Luke. 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 Howard, test one, two, three.